Steps are being taken to turn around the housing crisis in Norfolk. A meeting was held this afternoon to talk about how the city should spend more than four and a half million dollars that it's getting to fight homelessness. News to reporter Angela Bohan was there and tells us why this is important for Norfolk residents. Ultimately, this means there could be more housing options, less homelessness. And for anyone searching for affordable housing in the city of Norfolk, you know that can be a challenge, but the city is working to address this problem. This funding came at a great time. I think the nationally, the federal government has recognized that there's a housing shortage. And just over a year ago, the city of Norfolk saw the need and created the Department of Housing and Community Development. We care greatly about our folks who are most vulnerable, the homeless, those folks who are at risk of homelessness, and we, we hear them, we see them, and we're working to uh, create a a functioning uh, housing market in Norfolk that will um, address housing choice for, for everyone. The more than four and a half million dollars awarded to Norfolk is part of the American Rescue Plan. The city held a meeting both in person or virtual, giving residents and various social organizations a chance to give their two cents and ask questions. So it's sort of like a double-edged sword for a lot of these residents that are being pushed out of these places. Monet Johnson is talking about residents who may have assistance but can't find a place that will accept it. Johnson is an advocate for minorities. She says in addition to having homes rehabbed or built, money also needs to be spent on programming. There is also a large unhoused population that we have already that could use some real tangible assistance and getting into places, not tents outside of the Greyhound station, but like actual homes. And this process does take time. Applications are due this fall, and the city says it intends to submit a plan by spring. It could take a couple of months after that for HUD to approve it. In Norfolk, Angela Bohan, News 3.